Small businesses make up an estimated 60% of employment in the U.S. And as owners put a tough year behind them and look ahead to 2021, one financial expert is urging them to consider their credit. It might be the quickest way to set yourself up for success. No matter what business you're in, you're in the credit business. That is the reality that COVID has taught us. Dr. Michael Grayson knows about credit. Considered by REI Wealth Magazine as the world's leading credit expert and at one time with a credit score of 990 himself, he says credit is key for owners looking to escape the pandemic with their business intact. If you're in business, don't be afraid of debt. Money always runs out, no matter how much you start with. But if you have good business credit, you always have access to capital. If you don't already have a line of credit for your business separate from your personal credit, Dr. Grayson says it takes a few easy steps. First, get a commercial address. You can get one at any shipping company. Next, link that address to a commercial phone number. Just ask your phone carrier to set up a new line. Register your business with the Secretary of State's office. Then, go and get your business credit report. Dr. Grayson recommends a site like Dunn and Bradstreet. Just make sure you have 5 to 10 credit references and 5 to 10 net 30 accounts when you do. And if loans or cash drought or what's dragging down your credit, Congress threw you a bone back in March with the passage of the first COVID relief bill. The CARES Act, uh, which was approved back in March, has a proviso that allows you to retroactively clean your credit if you've been affected by COVID-19. All you have to do is write to all of your creditors, say, listen, uh, under the CARES Act, I understand that you're offering a deferment program. I would like to be enrolled. There's no credit check, no qualification, and your payments could be delayed for up to 3 to 12 months. Dr. Grayson says even with all the easy ways to skirt debt in COVID, it could be another year or two, possibly even longer, before some sectors like retail, restaurant, and hospitality see a full bounce back. You really have to get creative. We're not your typical clothing store. It's been especially tough on niche business owners like Elaine Page, who runs Kayla's Bridal Shop in Holland with the wedding industry decimated during COVID. She's used an SBA loan to revamp her website, making more sales online. She's even made home deliveries and, of course, is trying to keep a good relationship with her suppliers. We always follow through on our word. Um, they've stuck with us through the whole thing. Elaine says the shop is in a better position now because of good relationships with business partners. But bad credit could mean longer wait times for loans. In fact, Dr. Grayson says the number one reason people didn't qualify for PPP loans was bad credit. And with another stimulus bill coming out of Washington soon, it's only a matter of time before more loans are handed out. But until then, business owners like Elaine are walking on eggshells so they can have a better year in 2021. We're really careful on what we're purchasing right now because it's a fine line. I mean, you have to have new stuff for people to look at, but you also are a little bit worried about, you know, are they going to shut us down? And Dr. Grayson also suggests separating your business credit from your personal credit. So that way, if your business closes or goes bankrupt, worst case scenario, it won't hurt your personal finances.